booty, the booty, 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 booty, the booty. All right, ladies and gentlemen, in the spirit of March Madness, once again, Dish Nation brings you Booty Madness. We made it down to the final four, Rig Dog. Let's what? kick it out. All right, representing the Juicy Cakes division is my girl, Serena Williams. Mm. What is the one main thing that we should all appreciate about Serena's booty? It's it's, just, it's perfect. See, a lot of booty's just big, right? but she's hauling ass. You know, you got to give a big <laughs> shout out to her legs, you know, because that's carrying a lot of ass. You know who, I have, who else I have a lot of respect for? Who? The wheels on that 747. Look how big that plane is in those little bitty wheels, holding up all of that steel. <laughs> Representing the classic dunk division is J-Lo. J-Lo got a pretty booty. Mm -hmm. That's that's a pretty booty. No, that's a wide booty. What? Well, it's wide. Wide really is good. But you know what? It's not really that wide. You know, look how it looks. Compared to Serena's booty was nice, round, and contoured. Hers looked wider. Now, this is booty shoulder. <laughs> exactly. Let's make it wide. That is yeah, that's, a, that's a new area of the booty that nobody ever talk about. When the lady had that little extra meat right there, that's called booty shorts. <laughs> All right, man. Now, representing the rump shaker division, ladies and gentlemen, we got Iggy Azalea, a girl who I predicted was going to knock out everybody that got put in front of her. I must say you did call this one, Crack, all the way from round one. She holding her own. Well, she's from Australia. Oh, that's what she from. Yeah, down, down, down under. under. And she's working with some thunder down under. Okay. Not a lot, just enough to let you know there's a storm outside. <laughs> yeah. now, Iggy is the rookie of the crew. Do you think she can get past the Final Four, or is this it for her? Not often you see a rookie make it to the Final Four. And when you got Serena Williams, you know, that's intimidating by itself. That brings us to the final division, the Vanilla Booty, and that would be Coco T, ladies and gentlemen. Now, a lot of people have been trying to say that Coco's booty is, like, store-bought or not authentic, but she puts in a lot of work in the gym. She even had a booty x-rayed, but I do think this is the last time we're going to see her in Booty Madness. I think she's out of here. I think she's yeah, out of here after I mean, this week. I even think she's leaning over. She can't even stand up straight no more. She's tired disagree. of carrying that thing around. <laughs> I disagree, man. I think it's going to be Coco T and Serena in the finals. I say Iggy Azalea and J-Lo. I say Serena Williams and J-Lo. Gary, who you got? Iggy Azalea. And Coco. I said Serena, I said Coco and Serena Williams. Absolutely. Really, men of non-African descent don't like big booties. They I like don't big personally breath. like big booties around the house, but they fun to look at. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> We're revealing the final two winners of Who's Going Booty to Booty, and we need you to help us decide who's going to win. Go to Facebook.com backslash Dish Nation and help us decide whose booty's going to win. Hey, Dish Nation, did you like the video that you just saw? Well, why haven't you subscribed, man? You can do that. It's so easy. Just click on this little button right here. And if you're already subscribed, cool. But you can watch more videos by clicking this button right there. Go ahead and do it, man. Everybody's doing it. All the cool kids are.